If you have a family, then it's accepted good practice that taking an intergenerational approach to your financial plan and your financial planning generally makes sense. Of course, it depends, depends on the family, and that depends for you as the financial planner on knowing your client and knowing the family and knowing the appropriateness of taking an intergenerational approach. But when you do, it, and it's appropriate, it usually works out well, especially in relation to wealth transfer. So it makes sense, I think, and that's been my experience, to involve the family in discussions about what your will says and what your lasting power of attorney says. So everyone's in the clear, nobody's in the dark. Now, for some families, in fact, for increasing numbers of families, the, the, the first steps taken to actually doing something, kind of putting their money where their mouth is in relation to intergenerational planning, is helping out with uh, a deposit for a first home, or helping out by being a guarantor, or helping out in some other way to do with property purchase. Some people even start doing that a bit earlier in life, so kind of with a view to that in the future, by tax-efficient saving. For children through GISAs or other structures or, or setups that enable the money to be available when it's needed. Something that is sometimes forgotten though, and this is something I've banged on about a bit in the past, is protection as a key part of effective intergenerational planning because life assurance protection in trust provides a really, really simple way through regular tax Deduct, not tax deductible, IHT exempt payments in the form of premiums, producing a material sum in the form of the sum assured, completely free of inheritance tax, which can then be used by the next generation to pay inheritance tax or even to enhance or create their legacy. And it's that last piece, legacy creation, legacy enhancement that a life assurance policy can do. It pays out the money at the time when you would want to provide that legacy on death and it may be a way that isn't available if you don't do that that where you'd got to in your financial plan wasn't quite as far as you would have liked to have got because of death and life assurance effectively comes to the rescue to create the legacy that you would have wanted to have left for your family